Hey guys, it's Jacob here. Uh, gonna go ahead and give you a tutorial on how to load the Aperio instrument. Start off by clicking the Aperio button there and entering in the username, which is administrator and password is ScanScope and click connect, which will bring you to the screen. Um, nothing has been loaded yet, so I'll go ahead and uh, begin loading the basket, which can hold up to 40 slides so with the baskets you're going to want to load with the label facing in as shown here on this little clip and you'll start from the top there's the labels and then after that you will load it into the instrument by opening the door and placing it right below where the green slot is and as you close the door it will turn red there you go so close the entire instrument and it will bring you back to this page just click yes to clear the attributes and here you are so everything should appear orange and to select the slides that you just loaded you're going to click on the top shift and then your last slide so the first three right there are going to be the slides for this run so now i'm going to take a uh, low resolution snapshot so you click the little camera button at the bottom and it should begin to take snapshots so as it uh, takes the snapshots, the slide color will change from that yellow to a light blue as shown right there. Yep, and then you'll be able to view the slide. And that'll bring us to this next part where we are going to annotate the portion of the slide we want to take a high resolution photo of. So here's the slide and I'm just gonna reselect the area that I would like to take a snapshot or I guess I should say a scan and every single one of those little yellow dots is a focus point um, usually the focus points are going to be automatic and you can select over to the next slide by clicking the little arrow here at the bottom and we'll go ahead and select the area once again so you can actually move the green box by just grabbing on the corner and pulling it around like this so you need to make some fine adjustments. That is the way to do it. So if you see that I pulled on that blue diamond there, that is the um, relativity point. So you wanna place on a clear portion of the slide. And we'll go ahead and check. Everything looks good. So now everything's been viewed is dark blue and there's an eye icon there. And now we are able to scan. So the scanning process takes you know it, it, it takes a couple minutes depending on how big of an area of the slide was selected uh, typically at this point I will just walk away from the instrument for a few minutes and work on something else uh, especially for these ones because the area of interest was pretty large so here we are is scanning um, you'll see that these focus points will start to turn green as the instrument calibrates to the slide and focuses on each one of those focus points. As you can see, this uh, process takes a little bit of time, but um, you know, it's just easy to walk away from at this point. Everything's already set up. You don't really need to sit here and watch as it takes the scanning. And I was going to scan in ribbons from left to right. And you see it's uh, loading green. And once the scan is complete, it will be completely green. All right, so everything's been scanned now. Everything's green. We can take a quick look at the macro image. There it is, everything's focused on and has been scanned. So at this point, we can move on to the next part of uh, the Perio loading process and move to actually creating a case, which will then be used to annotate. So we're gonna click on Mozilla Firefox and open up 
a different program called Aperio Image Analysis Workstation. You can log in. Password is administrator. Or sorry, not password. The username is administrator. Continue. All right, so here's the home page. We're gonna click on e slide. There's these two buttons here, and I'll just click on this big one. You can see those two e slides will just bring us to our most recent least scanned slides, which are right there. There they are. So you can always just check the label to see which accession number is on the slide, and you're going to want to select the boxes there on the left for the case and assign to and click the assign button and new project and for the project name i like to give it the accession number including the block number so it's part a you put the accession number a and go ahead and add that case and here's the case so if you if you ever get lost and you miss this page you can always come back but um, to look at the case you click on the little brain there and here's the case now it's all in one area so you can also go to projects and click on the folder of the project name and that will bring us right back to this page click the little brain and there's the case so now they are ready to annotate for image analysis